Starting with these two equations, show that torque equals BIA cosine theta. So normally there's a sine theta at the end of this equation, but because it would get mixed up with this cosine theta, I've left it out to make it easier. The thetas in each equation are not the same. So the y's at each side of the motor are always 90 degrees, so we have F equals BIL. If we think of exactly what a uh, motor looks like, we can see that no matter how it's rotated, it'll always be perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. At least this part here will be. This is really the part that we're worried about here because it's what experiences the force. Right, with me so far? So, our component of force perpendicular to the coil is given by F equals BIL cosine theta. Uh, in this case, we're looking at, if we look at the coil sort of from the side, with one current coming in and one current going out, we're looking at the end points of the coil, because those will be what are in between the magnetic fields, right? So the coil in this case is sort of extending into the background of the board there. Now, to find torque, we need to figure out how much of the force is moving in that direction, right? But the force produced by the magnetic field is moving in this direction. Sorry, rather that direction. So in order to find the component of force in this direction, we can construct a right angle triangle. And that will look something like this. And we only want to know one side of the right angle triangle. So to do that, we can figure out the angle of the coil with the field. And if we call that angle theta, then the length of this side of the triangle will be F equals BIL, that's the hypotenuse, cosine theta. So this will be the side of the triangle that we're interested in. Right? So we're getting pretty close to our equation for torque now. So to find force, we need to multiply that by... Uh, sorry, to find the torque, we need to find the distance uh, between the axis of rotation and where we're pressing it. And that will simply be half the length of the coil. So each side of the mo motor experiences a torque of uh, BIL times the distance from that edge of the coil to the center times cosine theta. But we actually have two coils that are experiencing this torque, so we can add that torque together. The total torque will be two times this amount, and we know that LD is the length of the coil times the uh, distance of the coil, and that'll be the area. So. Uh, there we have our equation, uh, torque equals BIA cosine theta. Bit of an involved one, bit mathematical. Hope you get it.